I was born and raised on Beaver Island on a farm, the same house that we still own. My dad was a dairy farmer. And we didn't know too many people. We were country folk and we, we didn't know, we called them town folk, until our school was consolidated. Um, we just went across the field to the school here. We just had our books, you know, and the teachers mainly. I think it would have been nice to be in touch with the outside world, but we just didn't have it. The hormone feeds the tumors and this will stop the, the growth of the tumor. I don't recall my grandma ever talking about it really. She, like I say, she she went away for, for the surgery and the treatment and yeah, we never, we never talked about it. <laughs> we get in touch with them through video conference at our uh, rural health center here. We have our meetings once a month as they do there in Charlevoix and we all talk together. Tell each other what, what treatment we're on or what we're going through emotionally. You don't have any down times at all. Like sometimes I'll get in a pity party for myself, I call it. My little pity party. But luckily I come oh, I listen to the funny tapes. It just blows me away now that we have so many other communicating things with the mainland here on Beaver Island. Now when people come and they say, what do you do here in the winter? I can truly say, we do whatever you do. But we go about it differently. Like we can go to the movies. There's YouTube, there's Netflix, whatever. You can do it right online. And almost every family who lives here year round has a computer. Now our telemedicine is hooked up to the emergency room in Charlevoix Hospital. So if and when we ever had a patient that was critical and we cannot get that patient off the island, the doctor can see our patient here in our treatment room and give the um, nurse practitioner or our PA, both who work here, uh, instructions. Um, I think the more technology we have, the more apt people would be to move here versus even 10 years ago. It's getting there for me that, that I spend time thinking about how the end will be, but I try to be happy and go on with whatever's going on. And prayer, prayer is a big part of my life. You know, I, I even tell him, you stand right next to me here. Don't go far away from me. <laughs> uh, so I think that's, that's my first support is my Lord and, and then of course my family and friends and, and the support group. Thanks everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.